Hello mga sleep thinkers! Again, this is Teacher Marlo and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am going to teach you on how to find the missing angles using our knowledge or idea about the different properties of angles. Okay, first let us solve these simple problems. Find the degree measure of the missing angles. Number one, for the missing angle is here. So we have the given that is 47 degrees. We know that this mark here is right angle and the measure of that is exactly 90 degrees. Therefore, the sum of these two angles, if you are going to combine the sum of these two angles, that is equal to 90 degrees. So to get the missing angle, we need to subtract 90 and 47 degrees. So 0 will become 10 and 9 will become 8. 10 minus 7 is 3 and 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay, so the missing angle is 43 degrees. Okay, next, number 2. So as you can observe, we have this mark. And the value of this mark is 90 degrees. Therefore, on the other side of this angle, that is also a right angle, that is equal to 90 degrees because we have here straight angle and the measure of a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees so that is halfway to 360 degrees okay next number three we have the given 136 degrees and these two angles here are adjacent angles and they are supplementary meaning the total measure of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, to get the missing angle here, we need to subtract 180 and 136. So, 0 will become 10, 8 will become 7. Okay, 10 minus 6 is 4 and 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, the answer is 44 degrees. Number four, so these two intersecting lines form vertical angles. So when we say vertical angles, the measure of these two angles here are equal. Because vertical angles are equal. So if we have 60 degrees here, the measure of this angle is also 60 degrees. Okay? Next, number five. Using the figure at the left, find the measure of angle BFC and the measure of angle BFE. Okay, number one, the measure of angle BFC. So, it is here, BFC. So, how are we going to get the value of this angle, angle BFC? Okay, so take a look at this illustration. We have the given. So this is 90 degrees. Okay, we have here 56 degrees. The measure of angle AFE is equal to 56 degrees. Angle AFE and angle CFD are vertical angles. So if we have 56 here, the measure of this angle is also 56. Okay, so we are looking about the measure of this angle angle BFC so we have already 56 here and we know that the total measure of this angle is equal to 90 degrees okay so 90 minus 56 that is equal to 34 degrees Okay, so the value of the missing angle here, the value of the angle BFC is equal to 34 degrees. Okay, number two, we have to find the measure of angle BFE. So DFE is here. What is the measure of angle DFE? Okay, so we have already answer the measure of angle BFC that is equal to 34 
degrees. Okay, so angle AFC and angle EFD are vertical angles. Okay, so just get the sum of these two angles, 90 plus 34. 90 plus 34. Okay, that is equal to 124. Therefore, the measure of angle BFE is equal to 124 degrees. Okay. Number six, find the measure of angle TRO. Okay, let us let us first find the measure of angle TRO. Okay, so we have the given 47 degrees, the 90 degree angle, and 34 degrees. Okay, so we are looking for the measure of angle TRO. Okay, so we're going to find its um, opposite angle. So, it is here. So, we have here the 90 degree angle. So, meaning, the total measure of these two angles is also equal to 90 degrees. So, we have already 47. So, to get the pair angle of this or to get the value of this missing angle, so just subtract 90 and 47. Okay. So 10 minus 7 is 3. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So the value of this angle is 43 degrees. Okay. So we have here vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are equal. So if the value of angle ARU is 43. Therefore, the value of angle TRO is also 43 degrees. Next, number 2. Find the measure of angle ARO. So, ARO. It is here. Okay. So, we have... We're going to look for its opposite angle. Okay, that is here. So we have the given. We know that the sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees. So just subtract 90. 90 minus 34 to get the missing angle here. Okay. So 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, the value of or the measure of angle here is equal to 56 degrees okay so just add these three angles 47 47 plus 56 plus 34 7 6 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 4 is 17 very one is 5 10 13 okay so we have 137 degrees okay the total measure of these three angles is equal to 137 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle ARO is also equal to 137 degrees because they are vertical angles. Okay. okay number 7. Using the figure at the left, solve for the value of x. So this time we're going to find for the value of x. Okay, so this must be these three angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so just add our equation will be x plus 2x plus 30 is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, we know that the total measure of these three angles is equal to 90 degrees. Combine like terms x plus 2x is 3x plus 30 equals 90 okay so we're going to to eliminate 30 here in this side of the equation so 3x plus 30 
So to eliminate 30 on this side of the equation, we're going to find for its additive inverse. So that is minus 30. So minus 30 on both sides. Okay, so 3x, this is 0 or cancel out. Equals 90 minus 30 is equal to 60. And remove 3 from x, that is by dividing 3 on both sides. Okay, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1x or just x. And 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. Therefore, the value of x is 20 degrees. Okay? So, the value of x here is equal to 20 degrees. Okay? So, just, just substitute the value of x to get the exact measurement of the angle. So, 2 times 20 is equal to 40. 40 degrees. Okay? So, if we are going to find the sum of these three angles... 30 plus 40 plus 20 is equal to 90 degrees. Okay? And that is all about this video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to think positive.